Okay, Cancers, this is the second part of your video. Actually, this is your video. The camera cut off, so I'm re-recording your video. But these are the cards that came out, Cancer. Page of Pentacles. I'm talking to you if you have pants, Cancer anywhere in your chart. We're coming up on a full moon in Cancer. At the time of filming, the moon is 99% illuminated. Um, and so your dreams may have been really, um, your dreams have, may, have been very vivid. Um, and so this is a very emotional time for a lot of people. So if you feel like crying, allow it to let the tears flow because you're releasing things. We're leaving one phase and we're entering into a new phase, right? Here we have the, um, in the full, and it's the phase of the full moon. Here we have the seven of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. We also have the four of swords, the five of swords and the two of swords. So one thing that somebody could be replaying over and over and over again in their mind is something somebody said or did to you, whether it was recent or whether it was years ago, right? Something could be coming back up in your spirit, but and your dreams are probably very, very vivid. So know that a full moon in cancer gives us all powerful feelers, especially if your sun, moon, rising, Venus is cancer in those areas of love and pleasure, those areas of, you know, learning and growth. Those areas of, you know, liberating and freeing yourselves, those areas of just finding your identity. It's it's extremely powerful. So let's say, for instance, somebody says to you, Cancer, you can't keep friends, right? That could have been something that was said to you recently. So what that may trigger in your mind, that's why I want you all to take your blindfolds off. It's like, you know what? That person may be right that I can't keep friends. And it's, it maybe I didn't know why, you know, why I was so sensitive to energy. And so now you're recognizing that's my gift. I am sensitive to energy. So I not only recognize people who have said hurtful things to me, I also recognize their hurt and I can see back through their past life. So now what you're saying to source is that I desire to have people who are just as tender with my energy as I am with theirs, right? So that you can put the sword down so that you don't come across as a person who is hostile in your delivery. If somebody says something to you, I'm short temper. I can't, you know, you know, not, not forcing people out of your lives and also making room, clear room. Like, yeah. So when I say this is that, let's say somebody said that to you, cancer, you can't keep friends because you're too moody. You're too, nobody knows what mood you're in. You're extra sensitive, all those things, right? There could be some truth to that before you knew how spiritually gifted you were. But now that you know that that gift, that's a gift, it's not a curse. Like you're able to not only recognize, so what I mean by that, cancers, for instance, you recognize that uh, that now that you're healed, you're at a space where you don't want to entertain extremely hurt energy, whether it's your mom, dad, sister, brother, ex from a whatever job, you don't want to entertain hurt energy because you pick up on so much hurt and you know a person who is hurt that's not interested in healing, guess what they're going to do? They're going to end up hurting you. So you're already taking action ahead of time and you don't see it as paranoia. You actually see it as a gift. And so that you're making room for additional wealth coming your way. So somebody could have some kind of increase in their money. Your sales could increase. You could receive a check in the mail, all kinds of things that somebody's money is growing. So, and it's, and it's because of your hard work, your hard spiritual work, and also your physical work. Remember we talked about the number 12 and this being learning over this, this 12 month period, not only physically investing in yourself, but spiritually investing in yourself. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody. So yeah, some people may have said, oh yeah, you're too moody. You're too, you know, you can't take a joke, that kind of thing. But you also recognize in them saying that and being hurtful towards you, you see right through their hurt and you're like, you know what? You're right. Uh, let me work on that. Right. You're not getting offended. Let me take the blindfolds off. I can take action. I can go ahead and block their number. I can put their name into a burning bowl, that kind of thing. Right. So somebody is definitely on their spiritual journey and it's wonderful. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing justice in your favor. I see again, you're on your spiritual journey. I see justice in your favor towards anything or anybody that is trying to come up against you to try to hurt you. Um, and, and it could, like I said, could have been an organization. It could have been, it could have been a Taurus cause I'm looking at Taurus right here, but here's, or, or it could have been a, um, could have been a Libra. It doesn't matter. But bottom line, Libra and Taurus actually share the Zodiac sign, um, Venus. You, you've heard of the goddess Venus, the, uh, Venus, the planet of love, love and pleasure. You're creating a life that pleases you and that you are absolutely in love with your life. That's what I'm seeing for you all. And so that, 
that means more money coming across your path, more opportunities. We have the three of wands. I see expansion in your life. So that means somebody could be buying a house. Somebody could be buying a car. Your money, you can see your bank account increase all because you're learning how to balance out your own scales of justice. So I'm telling you, cancers, get ready for an amazing life, an amazingly wealthy, healthy Almost it's going to feel like stress-free life. If you really know how to listen to your gifts, Cancer, you can create really, it's almost like a euphoric life that you can create for yourself. So I see you physically staying as far away from those energies as possible. See, one of the things that, the, that's the Knight of Swords, this is you being your own knight in shining armor. So that means that if you uh, frequented circles with people who have said or did things that was hurtful to you, your default may be able to go and back to mentor or, or uh, mother that energy because you all are the mother of the Zodiac and the money sign. But now you're saying, nope, I can justify, let me give somebody a real world like scenario of what's coming through. Let's say you belong to an organization where somebody may have said something very hurtful to you, right? You can't keep friends, you're moody, you're extra sensitive, all those things, right? So you are, instead of you going back into that organization because you feel like, okay, I got to prove to people that I can take it. You don't need to take it. There's too many people on the planet. You don't need to take it. Instead, you're asking God who who assign a person to me so I can have I can feel like it's a safe space to tell that person why I'm not going back into the environment. Maybe it's a facilitator. Maybe you can say to a facilitator, hey, I don't feel like this is a safe space for me. There's a person that's in the environment that's very triggering to my energy. You don't have to say anything low vibrational about them. Just say, I don't feel like this is a safe space for me. So I think I'm going to move on from this. It's not that you're running, you're actually protecting your gift and you're creating space for additional wealth, meaning your relationships with new energies coming across your path. Hopefully that makes sense. You don't even have to overthink this. You do not have to go into, back into an environment, Cancer, where you feel like it's not a safe space. This is how you mother yourself, right? Again, this is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my, my um, information is down below in the description box. You are being your own knight in shining armor. So that I do see love coming across somebody's path, but it's because you are keenly aware of what nurtures your spirit and what doesn't nurture your spirit. Also, part of a ritual, besides writing down names and, and burning them in a burning bowl and releasing them in love, that's it's going to come through your daydreams, your night dreams, your visions, your etc. However, source needs to get the message through, even through this reading, it can come through to somebody. You want to write source a letter, whether it's dear God, which is self, you know, I release XXX, whoever it is, um, from my universe with love. Any negative energy uh, sent my way, knowingly or unknowingly, I return it to sender in love, right? However you want to close out your prayer, but you're releasing it and you're not, you're not forcing yourself to go back into any environments that have hurt you. Matter of fact, since you're already in receiving mode in any energies that send out messages, you'll be able to hear things crystal clear, believe it or not. Again, if your sun, moon, rising or Venus is cancer, you'll be able to hear very clear. Like the person is trying to explain themselves cancer. They're trying to say, well, you took it the wrong way. I didn't mean it that way. You can say right back to them in the spirit. It doesn't matter if you meant it that way. I've given you enough chances to be sensitive to my energy as I have been to yours. And every single time without fail, you blew it. So now you've, you've removed yourself. You, you were the one that burned that bridge. And again, you're not giving them access to you at all by going back into an environment where their spirit is still there because they're still trying to explain. They, they're hoping that your energy, see, they're hoping that if you go back into an environment with them, whether it's a family function, an organization that you belong to, uh, whatever, um, they're trying to make, they, they will try to make it seem like it's a personality conflict. They're trying to validate what they've said about you, cancers, when you're not going to give them an opportunity to validate because God has already sent, uh, assigned a person to you to tell you know, to tell you, you can tell that person it's a safe space. That person will relay the message in a sensitive way where you're still protected. Even down to, they may have to release that person from the organization because their energy is too toxic. The gossiping, the low vibrating, trying to explain themselves, trying to talk about you, all of that stuff. So let source tell you exactly who it is. Again, knight in shining armor. It could be a person that comes to your aid and says, you know what? You're right. 
You're right. Nobody should have to feel like that in an environment. So I will help you. I will be your voice. I will be your vocal, your, your voice box. I'll be the person to tell X, Y, and Z. You don't have to sit around and overthink this. You don't, you don't have to let it sit in your spirit. Okay. So part of a ritual, a modern day ritual is, you know, do self love rose quartz. If you have that, right. I like rose quartz. I also like rose, um, rose oil is also good. Not necessarily that I'm promoting a brand. So let me turn around. I'm not promoting a brand, but this is rose oil us as well but you want to visualize yourself being protected like and what does protection mean to you what does peace mean to you while you're holding your your um your rose quartz you know and then you know what what feels like you're mothering yourself what if you can close your eyes and envision yourself being in a safe space who is in that safe space with you who has who have you given access to your life or even if they're no longer alive, you can say, where, where is the space that you felt safest in your life, where you felt protected in your life? And if it's never, if you've never felt safe in your family, you've never felt safe in any of your environments, then now it's time to let your imagination take you to a space where you actually feel safe, right? And again, you're forgiving these energies, but you are releasing them in love. You're not, uh, you're not allowing unnecessary stress to come across your path. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Because like I said before, your money is growing, meaning that your relationships with yourself and people are growing. So source is going to send new energies across your path that's going to feel like, you know, and again, you let you're letting them you're letting them create their own karma, their own bad karma. Karma just is it's not good or bad. So you're allowing them to hurt themselves, right? Here we have the magician card, the ten of swords, the five of cups, the nine of pentacles, the eight of wands, and also the two of wands, right? Yeah. Because what they'll try to project onto you, there's there's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of envy in them, there's a lot of hurt, but they don't understand that you come from a lot of hurt yourself, Cancer. So you are now on the other side of all of this. You're not in this woe is me. Everybody keeps hurting me. Why can't I make friends? Letting that even sit in your spirit. You're making a decision, you know, and if the person that God has sent, God sends to you, like you, that God assigns to you cancer, one, you're taking action. You're listening to God saying, God is telling you, go to this person. This person can help you. If they are disobedient and they don't help you in any way, shape, form, or fashion by you saying, hey, I don't think I'll be returning to this group because there's a person in the group that's causing a lot of, a lot of commotion. I don't feel like it's a safe space for me. And, you know, um, I, I feel like as long as they're a part of the group, I don't want to be a part of the group. I've worked too hard on my mental health to protect myself, to even put myself into a situation where it would even have to be a talk. This is not the kindergarten where we got to, we got to get along, right? I don't want to get along with that energy. That energy is very, very low vibrational and very toxic. And that person says, you know what? You don't have to attend this. You, you don't have to go into the group. And so you let them be your mouthpiece, right? You don't have to go into a situation, cancer, where you are in a volatile state because now I'm all hyped up. I would, if I see this person, if they say something, I'm going to respond. You don't have to do any of that. You let God send that energy, that the name of that person to you so that you can reach out to them. This is you activating your masculine energy, right? I'm taking, I'm taking a chance. I'm saying, okay, God, I'm operating in faith. I'm going to reach out to that person and let that person handle the situation. But the energy, that energy is running smear campaigns. They're doing all kinds of stuff as if you've never hurt them. Like, I'm sorry, as if you've never helped them, as if you've never done a thing for them. So let them, let them hurt themselves. That's karma that they're putting out into the universe while you are meeting new people. So we got clear messages that are coming through. Don't miss the message. Don't miss the message because you're so wrapped up in emotions, overthinking. You don't need to do that to yourself and watch how quickly God sends blessings across your path. Watch how quickly God sends blessing across your path. Like I said, expansion. I could see somebody moving into a new house. I see some people meeting some a new soul tribe, all of that. And here we have the nine of pentacles. This is financial independence. This is where, again, you know what, if this is the group, if this is a group that you belong to for any length of time, whether it's a new group you joined or a group you've been a part of for years, God is sending enough money across your path that if it's a group where you were doing some kind of activities, God is saying, I'm going to put you in contact with new energy. So if it's rock climbing you like or swimming you like or canoeing or whatever kind of group it is that you like, I'm putting new energies across your path where, again, money, the energy of money in your relationships with people so that you'll be able to afford to 
uh, still participate in those things without having to interact with that. Remember, the person that God assigned to you is going to take care of it, okay? Because it is really God taking care of it. So you don't even need to lament over a cancer, not even for five seconds, right? This is a time to pay attention to those feelers. Here we have the two of wands. I see a lot of traveling going on for you. I see you meeting new people, new opportunities to meet new love interests, if that's what you want. Starting businesses, because again, your money is growing. So, you know, a lot of ideas are still coming through. So you, yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you, Cancers. But this is a I mean, when I look at this, this is great because something has been really weighing heavy on somebody's mind. Somebody said or did something to you. Their words cut like a sword. So you're starting to pay attention to your feelings when you're around energies so that you don't have to, you know, feel like I wasted my time getting to know this person. So now here we go again. I can't keep friends because I'm, I'm too, I'm too moody. I'm low vibrating. I'm, 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 you know, I'm clingy. You don't have to hear those things. If you pay attention to the messages that God sends you as soon as you um, are around people. So the answers that you need are coming. The answers that you need are coming. So like I said before, problem will be solved for a lot of you all when you listen to the messages, like seeing your gift of being able to feel energies, cancer, the problem solved, problem solved. You already know just by some, some energy as, as you're training yourselves, cancer, to listen to your intuition, sometimes it'll seem harder times than others. Like, mm, it's kind of hard to read this energy immediately. If I feel confused, that's time. Time is my money and also affects my relationships with people. God help me to expose, like show me who this person is. So I don't, I'm not distracted by their energy. See? Yeah. So here we have chanting again, the number eight money exchange number. I'm telling you, somebody's about to be financially very, very wealthy. So again, you're telling whoever I'm telling you it's in, in this, in this order, just like this, the messages are coming down to you, whether it's coming through your dreams, daydreams, night dreams, visions, however, the messages are coming to you. There's somebody saying something to you where you may have heard that same message, you know, from other people in your past. Right. And you may be remembering old friends. It's like, man, I thought we were going to be friends. It didn't work out. Old lovers, whomever, whoever. When I say friends, I'm talking about anybody that you've given that level of access to. Old lovers, even family members that you consider as friends. And somebody says something to you that just cuts you deep. Instead of you trying to prove them wrong, you start to listen and say, you know what, God, there may be some truth to what they're saying before I knew how powerful my gift was. Now I know how powerful my gift is. I can, I can, I can, um, if I just listen to what source is telling me, like, nah, something about that energy is right. Something about that energy is not right. Something about this energy is okay. If I just listen and take action up front without feeling like I'm paranoid, that's, that's going to solve the problem. That's going to solve the problem right then and there. You don't need to wait around to see if they're going to say or do something to burn you or cut you like a, um, cut you like a sword. You don't need to wait around for that. Source already gave you the answer. That's the advantage of you being a cancer. That's the advantage of you being a cancer so that when you start seeing your money increase and you see financial independence, somebody could even hit the jackpot. I wouldn't be surprised because you learned a lesson. Tower card. Like I said before, this tower moment lets me know that it's going, that's the same energy that people are putting out there to hurt you is coming back to hit them strong. That's why I said, say the prayer, dear God, which is also self. I release XXX, whoever the XXX is, it could be one name in a small bowl like this, or a, a, like a whole list of names on a sheet of paper that you burn in your sink. Cause you don't need to go buy a burning bowl and just let, you know, I release dot, 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 whoever they are in love, person, place, or thing in love, any negative energy sent my way knowingly or unknowingly. Cause sometimes you don't know what they saying or what they, what they're plotting and planning. I return to sender in love tower moment. I'm not wasting another ounce of energy on them or it, it or them, whatever person, place, or thing. And so whatever they're trying to send your way, boom, it's hitting them back. It's, it's hitting them heavy. So like I said before, that backfiring could be in the form of that person that you reached out to saying to them, we need to release you from the groups because that energy didn't say anything to you or even about you. But the fact that you're causing so much ruckus in the group about one person, we need to release you. Because your energy is very triggering for them. And the way that they handle it, you, you need to learn how to handle your issues that way too. But, but that's horrible for a person to be in a group. Whether again, group, family setting, whatever. Whatever a group is to you all. 
it's horrible for them to be in this and, and not feel protected. So, of course, they'll run smear campaigns. Oh, you know, they, they're going out of the way and, and pampering cancer and all, whatever. It doesn't matter what they say, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to bounce off of you and hit them. So, um, that's what I have for you. Again, like I said before, a lot of people going to have tower moments because you're not dealing with them at all. You're not, they, don't have, they won't have your number. They won't have any access to you at all. And even the ones that's from the, your past, some of you all could be having dreams about people from your past. They're going through a tower moment too. They have no access to you whatsoever. None. 888, I am abundant. There it is, Cancer. 888, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, Cancer, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I'm telling you, somebody's going to be ridiculously wealthy this year. And I'm talking about soon because, because we got the eight of wands. Things are quick progression of things because you are learning how to identify what feels like a safe space and what doesn't feel like a safe space. And that's in all of your relationships. So yeah, there's going to be some people who are going to be feeling some kind of way like, you know, oh, why is there so much favor on cancer's life? Why is everybody favors cancer? Because you're not trying to harm anybody. You're not acting moody, low vibration or anything. You're just saying, God, tell me who I need to tell that I don't feel safe in this space and let them be the mouthpiece for me while I move on with my life. All right, Cancers, here we have stress, affirmations for stress. You don't need to stress out over. Use this full moon as a blessing. This is a major blessing. I release what I cannot control. I release tension in my body. I relax my jaw and unclench my teeth. I allow my shoulders to be heavy. I breathe in gratitude and I exhale pressure. Stress is temporary. I welcome stress-free days into my life. I am counting my blessings. Great things are happening to me because they are. That is what I have for you. That is your full moon reading. And I will see you all in a couple of days. I will see you all actually on, I will see you all on Sunday, but this is your reading for the 6th of uh, uh, January through the 31st. All right, that's what I have for you, Cancers. Bye.